It's part sociology, it's part legal studies, it's part neuroscience, it's part behavioral economics, it's part administrative science, it's part engineering, it's part, you know, all of this full mm-hmm. stack of things that comes together to study a phenomena. There are these incredibly complex evolving systems. And I think that's also why I've been just sort of fascinated with what's been happening in Web3 space and digital economies. I get to be here as an economist and observing in real time one of the great revolutions in economic history. They've only really gone through these massive transformations relatively rarely. And one's happening right now. And we can study it from the inside. Um, Large-scale global revolution in economic systems. Who do you suggest, I mean, people should read in order to get acquainted with this, you know, with the science of evolutionary economics? The, the classic is Joseph Schumpeter, an early 20th century economist, um, a contemporary of John Maynard Keynes. It was the Keynesian group that sort of said economies are machines, we can engineer our way through them. And then there was Schumpeter, who laid the groundwork for arguing that we should be understanding economic process as an evolutionary process that entrepreneurs are like mutations in a a system. They introduce novelty and then then market systems are the selection mechanisms that sort of select upon that novelty. And and so to think of economic systems as evolving complex systems, Frederick Hayek is a very, very well-known economist. He was the first person to really understand markets as computational systems and therefore economic systems as not allocation mechanisms, that you sort of plan, but as computational systems where markets are effectively a series of institutional rules and those rules um, perform distributed computation um, on bids and asks and, you know, all the information, all the distributed information in an economy and what they're computing is a series of prices which then guide behaviour. Many people still haven't fully understood the implications of that. Economies are computers, and market mechanisms are the way in which they work, which means they are distributed computers. What are blockchains? Distributed computers. Blockchains are the realization of that 